Okay, so I was just uh, kind of messing around, looking at some new techniques. I wanted to, uh, let me see if I can find it, figure out a way to blend mate between materials. So um, this was the example, you know, something like this. So I don't think it gives an exact outline of how to do it in this thread, but I kind of figured it out. So um, I've got a grass plane just uh, with this kind of geometry and a kind of a rock with this kind of texture. I just made this really quick for demonstration purposes. Um, but okay, now I wanna blend between these two uh, kind of seamlessly. You can see right now there's this hard, ugly edge. So how do we do that? Uh, well, first thing, let's uh, create a mix RGB. So I've got the uh, tileable texture with box mapping set up over here, or mix shader rather, mix shader, okay. And let's mix between those two. And now we can see we can control it. So let's go to this, add a data transfer modifier, click face, custom normals, turn on auto smooth, set it to 180. And then I want to create a vertex group. Okay, make sure everything is at zero right now. And then select that group and select our ground as the source. Let's go into solid solid view so we can see this. Turn off outline and then if we go into texture paint or weight paint, my bad, we can just draw this on. And we can turn off the overlay and we can see it's starting to get rid of that seam right there. So it's transferring the normals from the ground to the to the rock. And can have some trouble if uh, if say for example something's perfectly upward that'll have it'll have trouble with that but for the most part this should work fine. Okay, you can see it's pretty much blended. I think as good as I'm gonna get it. All right, so let's go back into object mode and turn back on our overlay. And now in weight paint mode, actually, I want to, you know, just clean that up, make sure it's also, like, I want it to be red. Let's isolate it. Anywhere that's intersecting with the ground, I want it to be red. So, yeah, something like that. Probably right here, too. Okay, um, yep, now we can take it out of isolation mode and we can type uh, vertex color and we'll do vertex color from weight. Now, in our shader, we'll grab a vertex color, set it to call, and we can see what that does. That gives us a mask. So black should be our rock shader and white should be our grass shader. And when we combine those, you can see we've got this uh, seamlessly blended. And we can um, we can remove some of these uh, stretching errors by you can see how that's vertical. So that's what that's caused by. So just with proportional editing enabled, you can kind of make it more angular like that, and that'll kind of fix that. You see, so. So anywhere where it's stretched pretty badly, you can move this in, move this further down, and then go back to weight paint. And I want to paint this in. Now go back to object mode and material preview. We have to redo vertex color. Oh wait, go into weight paint mode and then do vertex color from weight. Okay, now if we view that, it'll be seamlessly blended. So uh, it's not perfect. 
but if you uh that really comes down to having these vertical areas so if you know how to uh, look for those and just drag them out like like this that'll be fine so you can do it from beneath something like that and yeah anyway that's the technique I just thought I would show you uh, alright like comment subscribe